For some outside court, it was emotional, listening as George Pell's sentence was broadcast from inside live. Unusually, a single television camera was allowed in court, but the judge ordered it to be focused on his comments alone, not on the Cardinal's reaction. When the sentence came, it was longer than most people had expected. I sentence you to a total effective sentence of six years imprisonment. I set a non-parole period of three years and eight months. At the back of the courtroom, standing to hear his fate, Pell did not react to that, but outside court there were hugs and cheers. Now, out of this sentence, the Australian children are safer um, and won't be abused by people of power like Cardinal Pell. The six-year prison term is the combined sentence for five crimes against two 13-year-old boys. The judge spent well over an hour giving the reasons behind the sentences he was about to impose before he actually revealed what they would be. He talked about the gravity of the offences, but also about Cardinal Pell's age and his ill health and the unprecedented publicity that this case has had. While on trial, Pell had been shouted at each time he'd gone in or out of court. In jail, he's likely to be kept alone to protect him from other prisoners. Pell was a priest in rural Australia who rose to become Archbishop of first Melbourne and later Sydney. As Australia's most senior Catholic, he oversaw the church's response to accusations of child abuse by others. When a big inquiry was held looking into that, he had to defend what many saw as a cover-up. But it didn't slow his career. Pell was made a cardinal at the Vatican, in charge of the church's finances and close to the Pope. That career ended, though, when Pell was personally accused of sexual abuse. I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. But a jury disagreed unanimously. Louise Milligan, who has written a book about the cardinal, knows one of his victims. I would defy anyone to meet this person and not think that he is telling the truth. But a significant number of people do think Pell has been wrongly convicted, made a scapegoat for the wider sins of the church. The truth doesn't sell papers, but lies sell papers, and this is a lie. Pell is appealing his conviction. That appeal will be held in June, but until then, at least, he'll remain in jail. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Melbourne.